Friday night greyhound racing this week at Albion Park where the main events for the Tab Golden Grey Summer Carnival will be run and won. The Group 1 Garrard's Gold Bullion over 520 metres and the listed Garrard's Gold Cup over 710 metres. Jared Daffy from Tab is here to look at the markets and help find a winner. Jared, the Gold Bullion has drawn together an outstanding field of sprinters headlined by track record holder Seneki, million dollar chase winner Good Odds Arata and the people's champ Feral Frankie. Yes, Luke. Well, I guess the club have got to be extremely happy with the field that we've uh, been able to assemble and obviously race in Queensland as well. It's a new carnival, but the beauty of it is we do have the People's Champ and Saniki, Group 1 winners, uh, track record holders. And interesting when we put the market up after the heats the other night, it hasn't moved. And you never, ever see that. So I think the punters are telling us we've got it pretty much right. A few were surprised Seneki wasn't the favourite. Feral Frankie opened at $2.50, Seneki at $3, Good Hodge Arata $3.70, and really that's where the interest ends from Tab punters at the moment. But not surprisingly, Tab uh, with Tab, Feral Frankie has been the most popular. I'll put him on top just by virtue of that good draw. He's a terrific chaser, I love the dog. Uh, so two on top, Feral Frankie. I think Seneki's a danger. If he leads, he's clearly going to be the one to beat. And good odds are out of the million dollar chase winner in for third. Yep, I'm going with Seneki. He's one of my favourite dogs. Track record holder and we're hoping he jumps out of box five on Friday night. I'll put Feral in for second and good odds are out of for third. The Garrard's Gold Cup, however, it looks to be a really tough race on paper. It is, and uh, well, a couple of his favourites have drawn rather awkwardly, although boom down, he'll be at the back anyway. We open him up at $3 equal favourite with just terms after the box draw. The $3 boom down didn't last long, which I was a bit surprised by. He's into 280, just terms out to 320. Uh, the Queensland star, Bago Bye Bye, out in box eight, probably drawn the wrong side of the track. He's at 420. And the Victorian true detective, I think he's a sneaky chance here, Luke, because the way I have it, I've got him in front. He's a little bit suspect the last 30 or 40 metres, but he's a $4.80 pop at the moment. So I'm going for Boom Down. I know he'll be last. He always needs a lot of luck, but I think he might be able to work his way through the field and beat just terms, and I'll put True Detective in for third. Yeah, I'm sticking with Boom Down as well. We'll need the luck in the run, but I think we'll be stretched out over a fair bit of uh, territory at Albion Park over the, the 710 metres. I actually think Bago Bye Bye drawn really well in box eight. We saw him win a heat of the Australian Cup 12 months ago from box eight around the Meadows, so I think that'll give him a little bit of room early. And I agree, True Detective, he'll just keep going on the inside. The 710 at Albion Park's a pretty tough run, however, and, and that will find him out, but I'll put him in for third. So that's our two big races for Friday night. Make sure you get yourself trackside. We've got free parking, free entry, Paces and Chases Bistro cooking up a storm, and because it's our big feature night of the summer, we've got the gold py pyro and laser show, live music featuring the Killer Queen experience playing from 5.15 p.m., the tab grab machine trackside, where 30 lucky winners will have their chance to win up to $5,000 in betting vouchers. We've got action for the kids with a jumping castle and obstacle course, free popcorn and snow cones. The first race is 5.49pm, Jared. We all need to be there.